Take you out to Galveston this morning. Uh, they're on the northwestern side of the storm, so they're not going to get the worst of the impacts, but they are beginning to see the worst impacts right now. With heavy rainfall coming in, they're also coming down from high tide, so the surge becomes less and less a concern for them. They were a little concerned with the high tide and that increasing surge this morning, but right now, at least for the time being, it looks like that water should begin to receive, but the receding tide and then the, the approach of Delta is going to be a concern as, as they go into the day today. It's still a Category 3 hurricane with wind speeds of 120 miles per hour. The storm is roughly 200 miles south of Cameron, Louisiana, and we're still expecting landfall as a weaker storm. It hasn't started weakening yet, but we're expecting it to weaken to a Category 2 hurricane before landfall. So here's Galveston. Wind speeds are pretty much parallel to the coast right now, so that's also good, even though the storm is pushing to the north, pushing the water toward the coast, and that's true for Texas as well as Louisiana. But as those onshore winds on the northeastern side of the storm approach southern and central Louisiana, that's where some places could see a 7 to 11 foot storm surge. It is going to gradually weaken right up until landfall and then it quickly weakens as it moves farther inland by tomorrow morning. It will likely just be a tropical storm, but still a tropical storm well inland towards Alexandria, Louisiana, and then it continues to weaken as it moves up into the Tennessee Valley. We're on the east side of the Gulf and we're doing just fine. We're just hot and humid. Temperatures right now are in the mid and upper 70s under mostly clear skies. Your Friday looking pretty good. Only a 20% chance for an afternoon storm with high temperatures near 90.